It's Florida's largest river, beginning its 310-mile journey to the Atlantic Ocean from the broad floodplains of West Vero Beach. It is one of the few rivers in the world that flows north. It is steeped in history. Its shores have been populated by indigenous peoples, the Spanish, and the French. The entire length of the river is designated an American Heritage River. It is from this storied river that the St. John's River Water Management District draws its name. Join us on a multi-part series of exploration and discovery as we take you on a journey from its headwaters to its mouth in Mayport, just north of Jacksonville. We'll view the scenery and study the river's history. We'll look at the human impacts on the St. John's River and what's being done to protect the river for future generations. We begin our journey in the river's vast headwaters, where the District and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers completed one of the largest and most ambitious flood control and marsh restoration projects in the world, the Upper St. Johns River Basin Project. Function of the floodplain, we've been able to create a project that provides the flood protection that is, uh, is required to protect the agriculture around this area. But along with that, we've been able to uh, reclaim and restore uh, uh, tens of thousands of acres of uh, historic floodplain. So this project is really a model in its time of how we should do, especially in Florida, flood protection projects. The Upper Basin Project includes more than 100 miles of flood protective levees, eight major gated spillway structures, and at least 15 smaller water control structures, culverts, and weirs. During flood conditions, the project may contain enough water to cover an 86 square mile area with 10 feet of water. The Upper Basin Project also revitalizes the river's headwaters. The environmental benefits of this project are, are, are tremendous with the creation of the water, water management areas and the marsh conservation areas. We've seen a dramatic increase in uh, waterfall populations, uh, benthic invertebrates have come back. Uh, we see uh, increased numbers of threatened and endangered species. Much of Florida may have been tamed, but the St. John's River still offers the promise of unbridled adventure, of enchanting scenery, and maybe a hint of danger as it widens at places with names like Helen Blazes or Puzzle Lake. Experience the St. John's River firsthand and you'll understand why the dedicated staff of the St. John's River Water Management District are passionate about preserving and protecting it.